something you just said a minute ago, you said that um, the infrastructure plan is important because it's a job creator, which yeah. you've said for a long time. But in order to pay for it, we'll have business tax reform. Correct. I don't understand. So, so what's the tax reform? What does okay. it look like? So another, you say it's lowering taxes, but how yeah. do you lower so, taxes so, and pay for infrastructure? So business tax reform that everyone's debating is two things. Business tax reform is changing business tax reform, okay, to lower the rate, okay, to 28% for business and 25% for manufacturing. There's also the discussion on the repatriation the repatriation of overseas monies to come back and what is the right rate to tax that at. The debate has been 14% to 19% and where will it go going forward? So there is a framework where within a bid offer, in my opinion, of getting business reform done. I think in the year 2017 you will have business reform done because at the end of the day both sides want business reform. Now they call it business reform because they want to make sure that they don't start getting involved in the per they're not going to get uh, private citizen tax reform done. They can get business tax reform done. So they now are no longer calling it corporate tax reform because that includes limited partnerships and all these other things. They've been clear. So I've started mm. using that thing, business tax reform okay. as well. So we're going to hear about this today from Hillary. Well, because gonna... yesterday was more, it wasn't necessarily a, <laughs> a, a, an economic speech, right? It was a slamming Trump speech. Hey, listen, I don't write the speeches. I've watched the speeches. Oh, we're just Look trying to figure out where we're going to get more detail on policy. Listen, the, the one thing I would say is if you go to her website, I'm not telling everyone to go to their website, but they, she has great policy on the infrastructure. Her pieces are, are fantastic. If you can find it, though, because it's in alphabetical will, order. It you know starts what? with Alzheimer's disease. I will send disease. it to you. It's, How's it's, this? We can put it up on now, Fox tomorrow. I've looked tomorrow. at her website. There's so much <laughs> policy there. It's actually it's alphabetized. They could just email me. I can get you that. I can, I can navigate the <laughs> internet, Robert. <laughs> Robert, one of the great infrastructure opportunities that we've missed was the pipeline. I mean, yeah. And, and the pipeline not only was a great job creator, okay, but it fueled lower cost energy, okay, which will help manufacturing. And she come flipped back. on it. She flipped. Uh, well, you know, so a few what about things. that, Robert? Well, let's wait a second. There's a lot of questions coming at me. <laughs> so first of all, you know, I was on the Jobs Council. At inception, I was a supporter of the Keystone Pipeline, even though we know that tar sands are the worst type of oil that can be, okay, transported. Secondly. I'm glad you guys all brought that up because it was a Republican governor in Nebraska who shot it down. We all know that. They shot it down and the Republican Nebraska governor, okay, is the one who stopped it, okay, and put it into courts. Secondly, when we talk about jobs, actually what came out is that it would only be 20,000 full-time jobs. Now that's not a small number, but it's not the hundreds of thousands that everyone predicted. No, but there was a great multiplier opportunity. And by the way, you're right, it was a Republican governor of Nebraska. But if the President of the United States gets behind that project, okay, believe me, it's going to get And the funded. construction jobs are actually shovel ready. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm, I'm with you on infrastructure. No one's, yeah. no, I've testified in front of the Senate. No one's been more on that than I have the last right. decade. Well, I'm, I'm with you, not against you. Robert, great to see you. Great being here. We I love it. We will be watching Hillary Clinton's speech today and looking for more specifics. And I can't wait to send you more emails.